three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Anderson. Anderson, and you're watching freaking Jiggy Jag TV. Loud and proud, it's Jiggy Jaguar from JiggyJaguar.com. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. you're not a black guy wearing black. We've had to school jazz musicians because they just disappear. You just make a smile. What are you doing? So, you make know, a smile uh, real big. Uh, uh, smile and some eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, you started uh, in the Texas music scene in like, what, 2010? Yeah, something like that. I think it's more like 2009. Yeah. What the heck got you into music? Poor life choices. No. <laughs> Um, you know, I, uh, I, I graduated, uh, I graduated high school and, uh, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, uh, but football in high school and, and sang in the choir and just really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, I took a, uh, I took a gig as a, uh, nightclub DJ when I was 19, 18 years old, 18 years old. I was a nightclub DJ and, uh, that's awesome. Yeah. And you know, and I think what it was is, is once I started being a DJ, I ran into people that. Uh, I got to see bands more than I used to, you know, so yeah. I would always see bands coming through and it, and I'd always sing and so started a band with a group of buddies and got the bug and just kind of never let it go. Now you opened and uh, shared the stage with some heavy hitters, Wade Bowen, Casey Donahue, mm -hmm. uh, among others. Tell me a little bit about some of the different... Uh, People you've played with and uh, you, you know, for and one, one thing, yeah. I mean, one thing about Texas music that a lot of people don't understand in, in other places and stuff like that is I've never been in a scene, and I've been to places like Nashville and I've been to, oh, yeah. I've been to Los Angeles, I've been to those places. And, um, you know, in Texas, these te this Texas music scene and, and, and it travels all the way up here to Kansas, you know, I mean, there, there's Texas Red Dirt fans everywhere, um, but the bands. They just they just act different than bigger bands, you know. You you'll have bands like yeah. like Wade Bowen, like Casey Donahue, selling out big big venues and festivals and doing all that. But you know, we'll we'll still give me a call on the cell phone and say, hey, do you want to come out and play? You know, and it's all That's about greeting awesome. the next. Yeah, so it's it's such a cool environment, such an amazing group of people, and I have so many people that that are so good to me down there, and they're they're still there. It's, I mean, it's amazing. It really is. Now, uh, tell me about uh, the the debut EP in 2011. Man, <laughs> poor life choices again. No, I, uh, so we we put out we we had put out a demo right before that 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 did pretty well, um, and then then we came with the EP uh, the EP, little EP called Adios, uh, released a single off of that record called uh, Ramblin' Kind, uh, which went to number thirty two on the Texas Country Music Charge, uh, which That's was cool. which was pretty awesome, you know, and uh, I think. Uh, I mean that's that's when it really went to a different a different whole deal. You know, it went yeah. from you know playing music and playing bars and playing pasture parties and doing that stuff. And then you know it's it's that thing when you're a band, you're a young musician. It's we're gonna make a record and we're gonna be <laughs> famous. You know, and, uh, and and you know God bless them, man. I I know lots of musicians that have you know went 20, 30 years and 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 hadn't put songs out. We were just so blessed, man. We found such a, a I had a great manager. A great group of people, a great radio promoter, right off the bat, and my first song ever went went up in the top 50 on the charts, which was just amazing. And then from then on, I mean, you couldn't you couldn't tell me any different. <laughs> I mean, now, by the way, I, I hate to cut you off, but a Sean Dean. Do you know a Sean Dean? Sean Dean, yeah. 
They wanted to say hello to you. Sean Dean. Live on Facebook. Sean Dean. Okay. <laughs> Wait, if that's the Sean that I think it is from Texas, I. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's who I think that is for sure. Now uh, you're you're playing all over the place. Tell me a little bit about some of your new music and what you're doing now. You know, it, it's it's crazy, man. You know, we we stepped away. I, I stepped away from from music probably. It was probably a year and a half ago, almost a year and a half ago, almost two years. God, it's almost two years ago. Uh, now to think about it, you know, um, you know, I, I walked away. Um, so, some family issues, and uh, I have two beautiful sons. I have two new kids, um, and so we we did that deal. <laughs> and uh, but you know, now I, I've uh, met some amazing musicians here in Kansas, a bunch of great guys, and you know, it just kind of it kind of sparked that fire in me. You know, coming out and. Started playing acoustic shows. My lead guitar player, band leader Robert Fennell, out of Salina. Um, we started playing acoustic shows, and, and then we actually had a band here in Salina for a little while. And um, and then you know stuff comes up, and you kind of you know I, I'm a business owner too, so I own my own business. So it's it's you know always been in between, and and then it just kind of lit that fire to, to come back in the game and. That's cool. We're back stronger than ever. I feel. That's cool. Now you're playing all over the freaking place. I it am. seems like. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's that's a joke. I had I have a, I have a friend of mine uh, down in Texas. Uh, his name's Kurt, and Kurt always said, um, if there was anything that we weren't scared to do, that was get in the truck and go somewhere. <laughs> I mean, we, we are we have put the miles in. There's no doubt about it, and still do to this day. Still do. Now, uh, got any new music or anything? We do. You, you know, we, we've got. So before before I, I kind of took a step back, we actually recorded. Uh, a full-length album in Fort Worth, Texas at uh, Fort Worth Sound. Bart Rose produced. He's one of the hottest producers in Texas cool. music. He's amazing. God, he's just awesome. Um, we had some some great artists on there, uh, guys like Austin Alsop, Charlotte Korn, Amy Rankin from the Rankin Twins, um, Jake Pyatt, Matt Wayne. It's such a shame you're working with all these heavy hitters all I, the time. You Your know, life must be so boring. No, you know, friend. but you know what? <laughs> but you know, you know what it is though. It, it's it's. You know, when we did that record two years ago, it, you know, those guys were growing. Yeah. They were growing artists. Oh, yeah. Um, and so don't get me wrong. I mean, it's nice <laughs> to look at my record now and go, I appreciate you guys getting big while I was taking a vacation, <laughs> you know, so I can just come kind of ride the coattail for a minute. But, um, but you know, that, and, and, and we're working on new music, too. Um, we've got, you know, it's a completely new, um, I would say it's a completely different it's a different sound than, than yeah. what we're doing now. Like it's completely, I, I, my entire sound has changed. It's not as, it was very old, older school country, and it's definitely yeah. more of a rock and kind of solely vibe harmony feel to it. It's really cool. cool. I like. It. I'm happy with where we're at for sure. Now, uh, before I let you go, website, social media, if people want to buy your music. Yeah, of play. course, absolutely. You can go to uh, www. Jaron. That's J A R O N. Bell. Uh, band.com. You can go there and we have links to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. The new record should be out. Don't hold this to me. It's not like we're live or anything. <laughs> but, uh, the new record should be out in August. I mean, that's cool. If that's the plan. The plan is to get the record out in the first of August, late August. I'm, I'm not sure how we're going to get it out, but that's the plan. A full new record that uh, everybody's been asking and people have been so amazing about it. And we're definitely ready to get that new music out to them. Well, good stuff. Sure. Well, that's all my questions, sir. Thank right on. you. Right on. Right on. And, uh, Thank you, out on the patio. James, you over there recording time.